Hmm. I'm not going to be using that gear lever again. So today is just a quick video to show you how to take off the gear knob on a Vauxhall Astra G. I've looked at a lot of videos online for this and they don't really explain the process very well. So what I've got here to fit is this Armshire gear knob. You've got to make sure when you get one of these you get this little collar with it with some grub screws that fits over that. Okay so a lot of people will say oh you just twist it off pull it whatever don't do that because you'll end up damaging the mechanism uh, under here a lot of it is plastic uh, so the best way to do it is just take your time and just do it a little bit at a time it will take you quite a long time uh, the end result will be this mess first thing you do with the screwdriver is just flip off that cap and then get a Stanley knife don't bother with the hacksaw, I tried that, it didn't work. Get a Stanley knife and just score the gear lever. It's just rubber, it looked at leather, I thought it was, it's not, it's rubber. Score it up and down and just prise it off with a screwdriver. And eventually you'll come to this piece of plastic, which is on with splines. Again, don't try and pull it off. It's very soft plastic, so you get a good Stanley knife blade and just press it in bit by bit up the side there like that and it'll split it and open it and it'll come off so the next thing we've got to do is it's an easy bit just put this on with some little grub screws which are in it already and an allen key and there we have it new gear knob fitted and you just have to make sure that when you position it that you can still lift up the security collar for the reverse enough to be able to get it in gear. Also had to do a wee touch up job because it was a bit worn on that side. It's not the best but it is silver. And it was cheaper than normal. But I've always wanted one. Uh, I've got quite a few M sort of accessories on the car as you know. So the next thing I just missed out on a a handbrake lever. That one's crap. So I need to get an Imsher one of those. Um, the Imsher pins, you can get copy ones that look almost identical. So but for ten quid, so I'll probably just go for those. The other thing I did tonight was I fitted a new door seal. Um, it was coming in. Somewhere up, up there, and it was puddling down there. So it sorted that as well with a second hand when I got that tonight of a guy that lives just a few miles from me. So hopefully it will be more watertight in the ovens. I've kept the ovens just in case, in case they're even worse. There's an old car, they are they aren't much better, but we'll see how it does. So pretty pleased with that and hopefully my video has been useful. Cheers!